Hey, how is it going? Today is 31st of July, Wednesday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities we can find in today's video. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, well, that important area. Uh, not necessarily that's as of now, they wouldn't say that not necessarily that's where attention is, but uh, a lot of attention should be uh, taking a look at when it comes to uh, shipping of containers. Uh, it's, uh, since this area, would have a massive impact on overall cost of goods. Since we're taking a look at prices, uh, or at least some people prefer to label this uh, and or similar things in this particular way, that would be how much of the cost would be transportation and how things have been moved from point A to point B. And the uh, largest percentage, I would say about 90, some um, by volume, roughly. Uh, shipping are being done uh, via sea. So let's take a look at uh, what's happening within this area. We can take a look at CO2 emissions. We can take a look at perhaps uh, some of those governments and increasing of the cost, as well as we can take a look at the future opportunities. Uh, I, I would like to begin by taking a look at the reality check. <laughs> so, but I don't want to fall into it, right? So I was uh, doing a little bit more research and trying to understand if Germany is actually going to be looking to manufacture way better engines. So that's something that I was thinking a look at. And the, <laughs> the internet suggests me to take a look at the reality check when it comes to Germany, right? But uh, <laughs> so I don't know, perhaps uh, to start things off, we can take a look at uh, overall emissions, at least where things were when it comes to you. Uh, manufacturing and who are the governments who are manufacturing the most and to take a look at manufacturing perhaps they should those governments should take a look at the cost of transportation once things have been manufactured and uh, on the graph we could take a look at China right at the top double of the size of uh, US right that explains where our economy is so if uh, China uh, this is how much goods uh, China is our emissions output in tons, uh, that only says uh, who, are, who are top economy and performance. I already know it. <laughs> so, some people like to package that uh, this other economies are way better, all these kind of things. This is the statistics that I'm taking a look at when I'm deciding which are the largest economy right now. So that's that's economy, China. <laughs> Since a lot of people are misleading. <laughs> But either way, once that's been said, the second, that's for the United States, which is roughly uh, twice as small compared to China, right? From there, we're taking a look at India, Russia, Japan, international shipping, and Germany, right? Uh, I wish uh, UK was there on the list. I wish it was. Uh, perhaps UK is working on some of the projects as we speak, but as of now, uh, UK, uh, it's not up there. And recently, UK have fall from manufacturing from top 10 economies. So UK is not even in the top 10 anymore. So perhaps it's worrying uh, and uh, it's worth uh, concerning. Uh, but either way, once that's been said, uh, let's see what we can do. But more than likely, there is a lot of leadership and some of the decisions when it comes to administration and all government that need to be changed, right? Once that's been said, let's progress to the next article. Uh, we can begin by taking a look at the Price. So there is something that was published 16 days ago that would be U.S. importers bulk at the return of 10,000 containers shipping rate. So this is uh, where things are as of now when it comes to shipping containers and cost, uh, which is increasing for many reasons. Uh, when we take a look at container ships and all the U.K.'s role within this area, that would be insurance, and U.K. have increased insurance for those ships. So U.K. is playing in the role <laughs> when it comes to services, right? But that's the UK is taking a role when it comes to what I believe would be important in manufacturing, right? But UK is taking its gut. I think they have recently increased the insurance rates uh, by a large percentage, right? So of the entire activity and everything what's happening, UK is taking a cut. <laughs> Worth mentioning, no one's discussing this kind of things, but either way, let's uh, progress. Los Angeles, July 15, uh, the cost of sh uh, sh uh, cost to ship a standard 40 foot container of toys, auto parts, of other goods from Shanghai to New York it has jumped to nearly $10,000. Fueling uh, frustration among importers and all promoting some of experts to say that the market is a bubble, right? I, I don't think it's a bubble. I think that uh, uh, in uh, a lot of
lot of companies looking to raise capital when it comes to improving the fleet as well as there's going to be a lot of capital that a lot of uh, governments and all companies going to need when it comes to improving a fleet that will be changing engines. Most likely they're going to be taking a look at how to, they could reduce cost and part of that is raising a lot of capital, right? I think that's what's happening. But again, this part is, is an opinion. So always take a look at Germany and uh, perhaps they're going to be looking to manufacture some of their interesting engines. But again, that's again opinion. It's very hard to find some information. I think even Google, uh, sometimes they would block some of the articles. So I want to not necessarily would be able to see it. So that's a very interesting practice. <laughs> so where data uh, not necessarily would be treated equally. <laughs> which is very interesting practice how uh, some of those empires looking to hold on to some of the control including information control right well but let's progress uh, there's additional information but uh, i think we have covered already everything what we need to know about the uh, entire article uh, container uh, 40 by 20 i believe that's the size of the container uh, price is uh reaching and all coming close to ten thousand dollars Perhaps crisis of how much dollars have uh, been printed, about 80% or so in the recent years. So perhaps that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> but keep printing dollars and perhaps this price would double within a year or so. Let's uh, take a look at the next article. Next article that would be uh, what I believe actually important part would be who gonna be a leading company who gonna be manufacturing best performing engine engines so when it comes to perhaps fuel source that fuel source would need to be clean fuel as well as if there's gonna be a Germany who gonna take the lead uh, they need to carry out a lot of testing so whatever the engine Germany would decide to go with they need to carry out a uh, test for at least three or four different engines and test performance of those engines and which would be optimal engine to go with. If I was uh, someone from Germany uh, leading this project, that's how I would do it, right? But once that's been said, let's take a look at this article. I haven't read this article, right? Can the shipping industry chart the course uh, <laughs> then deliver for the planet, right? Since uh, when it comes to fleets, the largest fleet currently been owned by uh, some of the Chinese companies. So perhaps there might be some projects there um, that uh, it's very hard to find that data. I don't understand Chinese. <laughs> it's way easier to find data when it comes to Germany when Germany is doing right. All the places like US, all those kind of things just because of English, right? But I would be interested to find out what they are doing as well, right? But either way. Over 80% uh, of uh, trade goods transported by sea, shipping containers, nearly 3% of GHG emissions. International Marie Time Organization has 2013 target to cut emissions for, uh, by less, by 20%. 20% uh, is a reasonable amount, so we are most likely going to be looking to introduce some alternative fuel-powered uh, vessels, right? Most likely it's something that they're gonna be doing, but uh, as of now, it's very hard to find uh, information about those projects as well, as I'm not looking to promote any of those projects. <laughs> so that's private business, most likely. And they're just saving improvements, including slower speeds, propelled adaptation, and kites. EU regulations require one to three percent reduction of uh, GHG by 2025. U U.S. consideration similar moves. Challenges persist, such as industry's aversion to change and alternative fuels that emits nitrous oxide. Right. And so, most likely, we're going to be taking a look at statistics. Well, might be important. If anything, uh, we don't have enough time to cover in necessary detail. Let's take a look at where opportunities might be, since we were taking a look at CO2 emissions, we and uh, what should be a market that's gonna be popping up, right? So we were taking a look at top uh, three. That would be China, United States, and India. So I thought let's take a look at instead of uh, covering this, I think all of the news and everything everyone's talking about. It. So not necessarily I'm interested in talking about it. Let's take a look at where opportunity is going to be. That would be what I believe would be India and what India is going to be doing. They're already making a lot of moves when it comes to acquiring and improving infrastructure. That would be ports and trade. 
But let's take a look at the Navy, I have read this article and what we can find. Let's uh, take a look at this article that would be top uh, three uh, governments and current emissions. So perhaps since uh, the, this particular market might be on uh, a rise, right? Well, how are they going to be looking to uh, enter into this market? And uh, what partnerships they might be considering, all those kind of things. We can take a look at this article. I haven't read it, but it might be some of the opportunities. Uh, if not right now, in the future, that will be exclusive. India plans new shipping firm to capture the revenue from growing trade, right? So, uh, otherwise, they're going to be partnering with other governments, right? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if they can, I would uh, highly recommend to do everything themselves. But either way, New Delhi, tune. India plans to set up new shipping company to expand its fleet by at least 1,000 ships in a decade. A massive amount of ships, and it's, it's, it's only perhaps five companies, perhaps ten companies can manufacture engines, only engines for those ships, right? As well as so many opportunities in the market, right? As Asia's third largest economy seeks a bigger chunk of revenue for surging trade, the government's officials said. The South Asian nation is spending billions of dollars, which is a big problem. They should not uh, touch dollars with 20 meter stick. They shouldn't touch dollars. I would highly uh, recommend stop touching any dollars. <laughs> Uh, to refurbish infrastructure in its race to become a world-class manufacturing, the Prime Minister said, who won third term in this week, aiming for the to be developed in nation by 2047. Uh, okay, okay, so this long-term strategy when it comes to improvement of infrastructure as well as trade and how much of the money will they will be able to capture or money might be wasted if they would decide to trade in dollars for whatever reason. If they're interested in wasting money, they can waste it. <laughs> or if not, they perhaps consider trading in their own currency. Uh, the yet to be named firm will be joined owned by state-run companies in the oil, gas, and fertilizers in industries, which will provide it with businesses along with the state-run shipping corp of India. Okay, so again, I'm not promoting any of those uh, projects and all governments, but there might be some opportunities there. I don't know if we have enough time to cover the entire article, but perhaps I can briefly touch on some of the important parts that would be where the money would come from, as well as some of the people are making a lot of statements, all these kind of things, but again, uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if infrastructure is there, so is, uh, what is there, India currently, what they're focusing on, building their own infrastructure, right, as you say the least match what Chinese uh, government and all, uh, some of the companies have built already, so there's a lot of competition in the market as well, e as if they can do it, right, uh, ports, uh, partly or entirely owned by Chinese government, so if they would have vessels, how and where are they going to park those and how much that will cost, right? So there's more to it, right? <laughs> but not enough time. Thanks for watching. See you next one.